All right, guys, uh, welcome back to Raise Trains. Now, every single person in this hobby is about to do this video <laughs> of a catalog review, but uh, you know what? You guys might want to hear my thoughts, so I'll talk about it. So let's get started. I've already looked through this, so I'm not going to be surprised here. Uh, this came out today, uh, whenever you're watching this, but... Um, it's pretty pretty short, so I think we can go through this quickly. All right, so first thing that caught my eye is the base three is not in the front of this catalog, and to me, that's a bad sign. I don't know, I don't know if anyone else is going to talk about that, but like their past four or five catalogs, I've got them all right here. The base three was like front and center when you open the book, and. It's supposed to be coming out like now. <laughs> I know people are probably going to comment that it's in beta testing right now, but that's not that's not a good sign to me. If <laughs> if this thing was about to come out, it it would be in this catalog, and they left it out. Um, and you can't even say because it's the volume two. Because in last year's volume two, it's it was there. I'm just staring at it right now. So I want I wonder if they're having problems with it. Um, Obviously, we want them all to get it right, but I don't know. That struck me as almost like they might they might not even come out with it this year. We'll see. I hope they do, but yeah, that was the first thing I noticed that no no base three in the front of this. But all right, here we go. O scale, legacy steam, and first up is the F nineteen Pacifics. Now you guys know I'm a diesel guy. Even though I ordered that Camelback, and I do want a big boy, but who doesn't want a big boy, right? These things really surprise me. I want one of these. And I'm going to give Lionel credit because the price doesn't seem that horrible for something this detailed. I mean, look at look at this thing. I want this uh, Sportsman version. I think it has the coolest tender. And yeah, the detail, I don't even know what's going on on the front of this engine, but I know that it looks cool and I want it. And the price, 1300 and that'll be lower at a dealer. So that's a pretty good price to me <laughs> for something this cool. So I'm going to give Lionel uh, credit and then I'm going to kill him a couple pages later. But that's that's another thing with these catalogs. It's like you have two groups of people. You have people who say, Lionel is completely right, and it just costs what it costs, and it's on you to figure it out. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you, nothing's that... Bl and then you have people that kill them on every single page. That This is too expensive, this is too expensive. Nothing is that black and white on both sides. I'm going to give them credit where credit's due, and I'm going to kill them where they deserve to be killed. So on this, I'm totally giving them credit, uh, you know... If this was like eighteen hundred, I'm sure no one would have blinked. <laughs> so the fact that it's not, um, I'm totally gonna pre-order this. So this was a surprise for me. Uh, let's see, it's got whistle steam, only O fifty four too. You don't even need O seventy two to run this. Twenty five inches with the Vanderbilt tender, twenty five with the standard. I'm gonna assume this weird looking one is the Vanderbilt. And this is the standard, so definitely want this one. So yeah, moving on. Um, they made a Halloween one and a Christmas one. I think they both look very cool. Not something I'll be getting, but I like that they did that. Because I think they knew people are going to want, since something that looks this wacky, <laughs> people are going to want different schemes and stuff. And they got a whole bunch more here. A Marquette. Um an RF and P. It looks like it's got a little blue boiler. That's very cool. I like that. Um, and then they've got a George Washington. They've got two of them. And here's where I'm going to kill Lionel. A two pack of these cars is $500. You got to be kidding me. They're not even 21 inch cars. They're 18 inch passenger cars. And they're charging $500? absolutely not i am <laughs> i ain't buying these and uh i hope 
I hope people don't buy these because they, I think I'm going to talk about something here about the pricing that I think uh, I'm hoping happened because Lionel, they, they have to be shown. I, I was already complaining about a three pack for $500 and that was in the big book. Now they're charging 500 for two. Yeah, I don't think so. That's insanity. And now the station sounds diner is 429. So that means next year a station sounds diner is going to be $500. You got to be kidding me. That's there's no reason for that to be that cost. If people are telling you in other videos that's what that costs, they're incorrect. <laughs> because no no way. <laughs> It's not even like a vision line or something. It's just an 18-inch passenger car that they're char charging that much for. So I will uh, get this engine, and then I will find my own Chesapeake and Ohio passenger cars because I will not be buying those. <laughs> I don't even think they look good. I think they're ugly anyway. So anyway, that's my rant on that. So I give them credit for the price of this beautiful-looking engine, and I'm killing them for these plain old 18-inch passenger cars being to $500. You got to be kidding me. All right, moving on. Okay, then we got a 2662. Now, I don't know if you guys agree with me on this. The, the artwork on these looks off. <laughs> like, it looks weird. They almost look cartoonish to me. Now, I'm sure the the model, I'm sure, is going to look nice and look much much better than this. But, like, when you compare it to this, this looks like they took a picture of the model. Like, look at, the, look at how great that looks. This looks, like, horrible. <laughs> like, plain old, bland color stuff that you would do, like, on a, on your laptop that you would just, <laughs> I don't know. It looks, it doesn't look good. So uh, I'm going to be skipping these, but you guys tell me if you agree that just the artwork on these looks off, especially when you compare it to this gorgeous looking thing. So I'm going to skip these. And then again, oh, look, here's a station sounds dome diner for 500. <laughs> yep. And now they're two packs. So I guess that's the standard now is do you want to pack a passenger cars? $200, uh, $500 for two. <laughs> no, thank you on that. Um, okay, then we've got some consolidations for 900 These don't really do anything for me, um, but I guess it's a more affordable steam engine there. I, I mean, they're kind of cool, but I'm not, uh, nothing that speaks to me. Um, then we've got the M1s. These things look cool. Uh, again, the artwork looks off <laughs> on these. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is here, but they it looks strange to me. But um, these these are cool. Um, not something I'm gonna be getting. Sixteen hundred. Um, probably pretty standard for something this big. Yeah, thirty inches long. Okay. Um. Moving on, F3s, um, these look cool, uh, these are probably going to be a lot of money, right? Yeah, 1800 Um, they do look cool though, you've got the hot dog scheme, <laughs> you've got the Greyhound schemes, and you've got the hot dog scheme, so, I kind of like the hot dog scheme, I know some people think it's like horrendous, but, <laughs> uh, these are cool. But uh, definitely out of my price range. So, um, they've got these tender, uh, the UP auxiliary water tenders here. I guess these have sounds because I was gonna say five. Uh, MTH just came out with some, or you could pre-order MTHs, or maybe they're out already. I don't know, but those were only three hundred. So if I wanted those, I was probably gonna lean towards those. Um, but I, no, I guess Lionel's in line. Okay. So they give you the choice. They give you the sounds and then they give you without sounds. So I guess it's actually the same as MTHs without sounds. Cause that'll be about 300, um, at a dealer. So I'm not going to, not going to kill them on that. So I actually like that 
they give you the option uh, to have this thing have some sounds with it. So that's cool. If I get a big boy, which might be happening, we're gonna, we'll see. We're certainly not going to be a Lionel one, but I might pick... pick uh, I do want to get these. If I get a big boy, I need these, so we will see. All right, now these, again, these 18-inch passenger cars are $500 for two. That's insane. <laughs> I don't get it. They're not even 21-inch. They're 18 inch and they're charging you 500 for two. That, um, the ones I got, the Pensy Seashore ones I got from Joe, I got a three pack for 300 something dollars. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the passenger cars. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. All right, moving on to the. Legacy Diesels, uh, I am massively disappointed there are no CSX engines in here. I was all set, no matter what it was. I didn't care if it was a GP30 or an SD70, S whatever it was, if I saw CSX, I was going to pre-order it. And there's none. <laughs> I come into this hobby and the, the Lionel has made a bazillion CSX uh, engines. And I come into the hobby and they stop making them. <laughs> so that's kind of annoying. Um, however, I'm probably going to get this Conrail. I'm going to pre-order this Conrail SD50. Now, here's where I'm going to give Lionel credit. But I, I got to give us credit too. For some reason, so if you look in the, go back to the big book of this year. You don't even have to go back far. Go back to the big book of this year. They were charging $700 for a diesel. Or no, it was even more. It was like $750, I think. I think it was $750 they were charging for a legacy diesel. I'm hoping that they got like, it was because of us. Like, I'm, a, I'm hoping that people were like, this is crazy. We're not buying this from you. And then they chopped the price by $100. So I will give us the credit because I'm hoping their sales weren't strong. And they were like, oh, my God, we have to start making these cheaper again. And, okay, I'll give Lionel credit. They cut it by 100 bucks because these are only 650 So I'm probably going to pounce on this Conrail one here. Uh, just because of the price, you know, at, at my dealer, I'm sure it'll be around 600. So yeah, that's great that these were because yeah, I'm looking at the big book right now. They were the ES 44s were 750. <laughs> that's crazy. So I'm hoping they were like, okay, we can't charge people uh, $750 for diesels anymore. So yeah, I will get this Conrail probably. Um, I hope they start making CSX engines again, because it's annoying. <laughs> um, more heritage units, more heritage units from North Norfolk Southern. Um, uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. None of these really do it for me, but, uh, you got a Jersey Central lines, Illinois Terminal, Lackawanna is cool. Maybe I would get the Lackawanna at some, some point. And, uh, okay, so these, these are 700. So they, when the engine's a little bigger, it's back up to seven, but that's still $50 cheaper. Um, $50 cheaper from last catalog. So they definitely, I bet you that was it because we all know they weren't. They're not making them cheaper uh, for fun. So I'm sure they were like, okay, we've got to slash this price a little bit. So, yeah, these are nice. I, I would think about it. I really, these don't do it for me. I still want the UP Rio Grande. That's like my number one, uh, number one get of the SD70s. But at Train World, it's like $700. I, I'm not paying that. <laughs> That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, those are kind of cool. GP30s for 600, that's good. They came down on these too. All you have to do is go and look in the big book, and these were more than that. So, uh, you know, 
something this small, I don't know, it doesn't do it for me with Legacy. Like I have GP, I think I have two already from Lion Chief sets, so. But it's cool, a cheaper diesel. I like the Conrail and the black, that's kind of cool. Um, all right, moving on. We got the F F7s, all the F unit guys. I'm not against I'm not against them. I just I haven't seen a road number I liked uh since I got into the hobby. I I kind of like the um the Halloween one, but I don't know. These are 1200. I I mean Menards just came out with this set that's like a couple hundred. <laughs> I know it's totally, you can't compare them because this has legacy in it, but I'm not spending 1200 on F units. <laughs> I do like that Santa Fe blue though. That's cool. All right, we've got uh, some more. The Rock Island paint schemes are cool. I like that they're they're kind of different. They're both uh, in the same set. You get a different different colored one. That's cool. Boston and Maine, no thanks. The Great Northern Empire Builder. I think, I'm sure this is going to be popular. Um, these are cool, and the passenger cars look cool. Um, four of them for a thousand. That's that's what they were doing before. The thing that changed is that it's just 500 for two. <laughs> That's that's where they up the price. So to me, that makes it even more ridiculous. But uh, yeah, this this looks cool. Empire Builder. I'm sure this this is going to be popular for sure. Um, the Alco Switchers. Um, I'm kind of probably done with Switchers for a while since I just got two this year with my Conrail and my Amtrak one. I love this NASA one. That looks awesome. It's only five fifty, so it'll probably be five hundred for a. That that is cool. I like I like this NASA one. Um. Yeah. All right. The sets: a Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Honestly, the price on this is pretty good. When you think about if they're charging you a thousand for four passenger cars, <laughs> you get an SD40 and you get uh, a caboose. So price on this actually for 1200 and it'll be less than that. Price on that's not, not too terrible, I think. <laughs> um, I, I don't care about this paint scheme, but... Uh, this this set you're getting some a decent bang for your buck on that one. All right, Western Pacific River freight set. Um Yeah, it's it's whatever. Kind of some different and then an M1 Middle Division manifest. I mean, these are some really I guess obscure ones, so maybe that'll excite some people. Doesn't doesn't do anything for me. American Orient Express. I'm sure these are going to be popular too. These are cool. Uh, they're cool looking, but uh, I don't even know what I would hook those to. So I do like this Amtrak. I've got a Station Sounds Dome for five hundred. So there's the five hundred dollar Station Sounds that I was saying is going to happen. Um, it's cool. It's 21 inch, so it doesn't really fit with anything I have. So, um, yeah, I don't know. 18 inch training cars. Gonna skip that. These are cool. These covered, oops, my bad. Go back. These P5 gondolas uh, are cool. The covered, uh, I like the Area 51 ones. They, they give you a two. Two different ones. You got these ones with these containers, which I don't really like. They kind of look like garbage cans to me, all set together. <laughs> but uh, this U.S. Army one, I think I'm going to get. Because uh, now I, with all my uh, tank and 
flat, my tank flat cars. I think that would go well. And I'll probably get this uh, graffiti one too. Probably get both of those. I think those are cool. Um, double sheathed box cars. Okay. Not interested in that. These Patriot Sound box cars. I think this, you saw this already if you ordered, or it was in that giant big boy set that was four grand. They stuck one of these in there. So now you're now you can buy them on their own. Posters on those are cool. I like that. Don't think I'm gonna get these, but I like the artwork on these box cars. That's that's very cool. And I I kind of like these. Uh, I kind of like this actually. It, so this is a okay. So this has sounds as well. This would look good with this gondola here. So maybe I'll have to get one of these too. I like this green U.S. Army one. All right. And here you can get a three-pack of different different artwork. That's cool. I like that. Um, and for 250 that's not bad. These have sounds. Oh, no, these, these don't have sounds. Okay, it's still cool, though. That's not bad. Um... These are very cool. I, I want these. Um, the Illinois Terminal, no, but I would. I like that they're selling these. this group. on. You can get a single for a lower price, and that'll be even lower at a dealer, so I like that. So I'm probably going to get one of these CSX family lines and one of these ADMs and probably one of these uh, three packs, either this one or this one, probably this one. Being the farm guy, I like I like these hoppers with these ADM. I used to drive grain trucks into ADM, and I used to bring wheat into ADM. <laughs> so that's definitely getting a bunch of these for sure. Um, single sheath box cars, no. Double door box cars, no. Um, I I kind of like these. I kind of like these John Deere flat cars. I thought I was done buying Deere stuff, but I'll probably I'll probably buy one of these with these little tractors on it. And I even like this older showroom. That would actually go well with my service shop, so I'd have to think about this too. And now that I have more room on my layout, I have room for a couple more buildings. So maybe I don't want to do another John Deere building. I don't know. I, I do like this though. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm sure Joe will have it at a great price and I'll end up buying it. <laughs> now the traditional O stuff. I already looked. There's really nothing in here that I saw that interested me. You get Lion Chief 2.0 stuff. No. The only Lion Chief 2.0 thing I want are those Genesis engines still. You get a Lion Chief set. No, that doesn't do it for me. I did this Looney Tunes one was cool. <laughs> I like I like that they did the uh the Acme Dynamite Factory and that's basically just the I guess it's the brewery and it explodes, I guess. <laughs> or no, that doesn't explode. It's just going to have fiber optic uh it's going to have smoke and these fiber optic cables will be sticking out and it'll have like exploding sounds. I like that. That's cool. And then you've got this, this set to go with it. That's cool. But uh, since I'm getting the Wonka one at the end of this year, that's going to be a skip for me. No, no. <laughs> if you've seen these weather balloon, like as soon as that weather balloon, th the Chinese weather balloon thing came out, they like immediately said they were making this, which is, it's kind of funny. I think it's funny, but. And then these, uh, those hand cars, the Disney hand cars. So yeah, that's it. Kind of a smaller, even from last year's, I think this one was smaller. But uh, yeah, let me go back to the big, the big get for me that like, I know I'm going to pre-order is those F-19s. I mean, that thing looked sick. <laughs> it's 
So let's go back to it. And probably, I will probably do the SD50 as well, the Conrail one, but yeah, this thing looks beautiful here. Wow. Totally going to get this sportsman, I think. I don't know. Obviously, like I said, I am not getting these passenger cars to go with it. So I'll have to find some CNO black and yellow uh, passenger cars. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, I hope. But yeah. All right. So you guys tell me, what do you think? What's looking good in here for you? Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, what, what you're going to pre-order. So that's going to do it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.